Hey, what's happening? What's going on, everybody? My name is Matt. Welcome to another YouTube video about day trading futures. Today's video is going to be a little candid. Um, I'm just going to be talking through my day of trading and kind of like what do I do from here, etc. cetera. Uh, again, very candid, very open thoughts. I have zero things planned here, so we're just going to kind of roll with it. Uh, but before I start, make sure you press the thumbs up button down below and subscribe in order to show some support for one, being vulnerable, and two, hopefully being relatable to you uh, because everybody goes through what I'm going through right now. So to get started, took a L on the day today, big L. You can see from my fills here on this red trade um, as well as on the NASDAQ over here, what happened, what was I thinking uh, as I was trading and why did I lock it in, right? So couple things. First thing, last week, um, if you haven't seen the video on how I deal with losing days, go watch that. Super important, right? One of the takeaways was having a hard stop on your account, right? So I hit that hard stop today. Um, and when you hit that hard stop, it just cuts it. It's your hard stop. It auto, auto cuts your positions, right? So uh, that means for me, minus 3000 took to $100 of slippage on the NASDAQ. Sucks, right? Plain and simple, sucks. Unfortunately, 99% of you who are watching this video, whether you want to admit it or not, have suffered the same thing as me where like you either hit your top step drawdown or you hit your given account parameters drawdown or you blow your account, right? All three of those things, extremely possible, unfortunately. It's just the way of trading. It's how do you react from here? So for me, a couple things, right? On Looking back on my trade, I wanted to take the NASDAQ short at the open as we pumped past VWAP. Could have taken 100 points short um, right off the bat. Didn't do it because I was trying to be patient. Um, that opening range trades, so that first five minute trade is pretty tough to, to hit appropriately. It's moving around all over the place, but we dumped like 120 points in 15 minutes. Would have gotten super paid, right? Um, but I didn't take it. And so I was short side bias all morning, um, as you can see here, was just layering shorts on the micro contracts, which at least I won, stuck to my rules there about layering trades, only doing it on micros. Um, but realistically, a lot of buyers showed up on the break of this high. And in my mind, my average was right at VWAP. And so I'm thinking, okay, we break this high, that's fine. We're going to go test VWAP, which we did, but I didn't cut it. Um, and that's just like human nature greed coming in at its finest. Why would I take drawdown to just to cut a trade break even, right? Um, but that's not the way price structure works at a lot of times. And so that's just my fault for not um, realizing that, you know, uh, that like that was my opportunity and it got away from me. Um, but today is a super strong day. Uh, we looked pretty dumpy in the morning and like right before the market opened, um, which we did dump pretty severely on both sides. And then look at this V bottom. It just goes straight down, straight back up, and then just rips. We had some like news come out right around here, right where I got stopped with some COVID news with like Florida not having as many cases or something. And so the market just like acts erratically. And that's like all there is to it. Um, so what does that mean like for the rest of my day today? Well, obviously, like if you hit your drawdown, you're done for the day, right? You can't trade anymore. You shouldn't trade anymore. You can always go in and like adjust those limits if it's a personal account, but like they're there for a reason. Don't do anymore. I think for me, a lot of the things are just also like stacking on top of each other. So one, like I'm paying too many, like too much attention to like my environments around me, whether that be like the actual stream, like the stream chat, uh, wanting to go like full time. Where, like, I trade best when I just, like, don't care and when I'm, like, trying to trade just for having fun. So, like, I'm trying to get back to that level. Um, again, this is a very candid conversation, so take it with a grain of salt, right? <laughs> um, but it just makes it hard. And another thing is, like, I love scalping the minis. Even during times of volatility, it's hard. I just have to be, like, consistent about my targets. So tomorrow we're going to, like, work back into that um, and just, like, going back to, like, a true scalping methodology which is how I got good at trading to begin with. Um, micros have opened up like this idea that like you can scale in and you can ride out longer waves, but like that's pointless if you're not doing it 
effectively, right? Which is what I'm doing here. This is not an effective trade, obviously. A lot of people will probably give me some form of shit for not having a stop in place, but whenever you're doing a scale and trade, you're gonna have drawdown no matter what. It's just about are you reading the market right? I was not reading the market right today, so it is what it is. Um, I found like a lot of times I go through like weeks, months, a couple months of like seeing the market super clear and then it gets foggy and then I see it super clear and then it gets foggy. Um, and this is probably very relatable to a lot of you again of like you kick ass, you win a bunch and then you like do bad. You have some, some drawdown, you have some losing days and then you do really well and then you do bad. And that's part of like the idea of the market, right? We do really well, we do a little bad, we do well, we do a little bad. We're moving in these waves. And like you have to be able to accept that as a trader, that that's just the way it works, right? You have a ton of winning days in a row, you're going to have some losing days. You're going to have a ton of winning days in a row, you're going to have some losing days. Just part of like trading psychology. Um, so one, I hope that like encourages you that you're going to get through your losing days. Um, but two, that like you just have to reevaluate kind of what you're doing. The market's always changing, right? different methodologies I was using two months ago aren't going to work right now. Maybe I should be scalping for my 10 pointers on the NASDAQ like I've gotten pretty good at. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens with it. Again, all of this is just another good reason on why like top step is super important for risk management controls. If you're not good at risk management on a personal level, uh, implement account risk management procedures, right? It's where they'll close it out for you. Um, if you don't know how to do that, again, you can even go through top step and use a program like that to where they're not going to allow you to trade a certain amount of contracts unless you have a certain amount of profit. Um, and they're going to maintain your daily drawdown for you and things like that. So if you're interested in that, there's 20% off link down below. Um, but yeah, go ahead and like, and subscribe this video. I appreciate it. I hope this video was helpful just from like a candid conversation perspective. Um, one so that, you know, I'm real, I'm very real human. Two is that, you know, I'm not a perfect trader. I say that every stream, I want it to resonate with you. Um, I just have my own opinions on the market, which is why I hope you find this channel helpful. And three, um, if you're losing trades, you're gonna come back. It's just part of the micro, the market wave, right? Um, any, no equity curve goes straight up. It always goes like that and et cetera. So anywho, I hope you have a great rest of the day. Um, don't get faked out by the market. Have patience and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Peace.